The first blow grazes my eyebrow. I feel the warmth and force of it as it passes. My eyes are closed and I brace myself, squaring my feet. Jabs two, three, and four come in rapid succession, the first of which lands squarely above my right brow. The next two are just on the side of my right eye. I don't recoil, just breathe as I square up again. The last three or four hits are much harder. I feel myself get dizzy. My right eye is hot and stings with each strike. I'm breathing hard. I put my glasses back on. Grabbing the sides of the sink, looking into the mirror, avoiding direct eye contact. I always do. I cannot, will not meet myself. I'm not sure what I'm avoiding, but looking back in, at myself, into myself, is always fear and disgust. The same thing I see in the eyes of strangers, friends, and family. The swelling is fierce and immediate. Inspected the damage, angry shades of red are taking over. As I lift my right hand, it shakes. The knuckles are raw and show signs of the bruising to come. Fuck! It's always too late when I realize how far I've gone. Anger is generally an emotion I avoid. I've never hit anyone other than myself. The discolored and disfigured part of my face can't be hidden by a hat and sunglasses. The area around my temple, brow, and cheek are on fire and throbbing. I collapse in a heap on the floor, sobbing. Fuck. At some point, I collect myself enough to get out of the bathroom. Thankfully, no one is home. I'm woozy, but manage to get to my room. It isn't the first time I've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with this asshole. Although, this time, I think I have a minor concussion. The next day, it's much worse. Clearly, something has happened. Parts of my face are lumpy and discolored. What once was a deep red has become a dark and disturbing shade of purple. I went too far. <laughs> I try to avoid looking directly at people. I stand or sit just far enough away that they can't quite get a good look. I wear the damn hat. A few people ask what happened and I play it off as if it's just another day. I say I had a fall or some other minor accident. I keep the conversation short. Only once has anyone ever asked if I was okay without asking what happened. It's almost as if the incident itself were more important. How could anyone or why would anyone punch themselves in the face? The inner dialogue of my mind can be an intense and difficult place. The negative self-talk and internal braining can get a bit out of hand and overwhelming, to say the least. So much so that I can't always turn it off. I can't control it. I can't. And when I can't, my fists clench and my heart races. My breathing gets a little heavier, and I start to panic a bit. I know it's done when I take the glasses off. There's no going back. Maybe if they weren't so fucking expensive, I wouldn't even have to consider them. <laughs> the first punch almost always misses. There's a brief moment where I hesitate. I think instinctually the brain wants to resist, but that goddamn inner monologue just gets louder. You're worthless. You are stupid. You're fat and ugly. No one cares about you. You are a burden. <laughs> the glasses come off. The next few blows land exactly where I tend them to. Usually this goes on until I get that little voice to shut up. Anywhere from a minute to five. The harder I hit, the faster it works. My self-harm started when I was 12 years old and continues to this day. When I first started, it was cutting. Eventually, I upgraded to burning, which is still an alternative. I used these to find some control and safe release. Growing up in a household of domestic violence, outwardly emoting was generally frowned upon. Punching started in my mid-20s. When I started punching, I thought it would be less obvious than cutting or burning. I guess I thought so because people tend to avoid looking directly at me. There's something about, wanting, about being hit, 
wanting to be hit, feeling deserving of getting hit. When I first started, it felt hard to do, and yet I really wanted to feel that particular feeling. There's a lot of worthiness being dealt with here. I know my self-compassion is lacking, if not altogether missing. Excuse me. It is some serious self-loathing to punch yourself in the fucking face, and I am riddled with it. I always have been. I started therapy a few months ago, but the meds make me feel worse, and my therapist seems to concur that life is particularly heavy. When things pile up, I schedule a tattoo appointment, if I can afford one. Pain. If not, I try to dance, go for a walk. Sometimes the walks work. Sometimes they just delay the inevitable. I watched my mom get hit a lot when I was a kid by various boyfriends and miscellaneous husbands, thrown through windows, set on fire, beaten until she was black and blue. I always wanted it to be me instead. I wanted to take her place. I was always too scared to help her. Did I let it happen? I let it happen. The glasses come off. My parents were never really around, drug addicts and narcissists. They didn't want me. They don't want me. Just something nice to have rather than care for. They used me to smuggle drugs. They left me alone, always alone, touched to bribe for days, weeks. If they can't, won't, don't love me, well, who the fuck can? Who really? At 16, I started using meth to be closer to my mother. It was what she was most interested in. She even started giving it to me for free and taking me out on benders. But hey, we're spending quality time, right? Did I enable her addiction? Fuck. I enabled her. The glasses come off. Looking back on exes, lovers, flings, Hardly anyone was willing to go there, to touch me that way, intimately. It was okay for me to touch them, but rarely had anyone reciprocated. Admittedly, I've had hang-ups in this department, but no matter what I asked for or said, the willingness from them was lacking or needed to be coaxed with alcohol. You're gross. You look like a man. The glasses come off. My relationship with my partner started out okay. I was focused on helping try to find her footing as a new mom. I wanted to help her. I temporarily swapped physical harm for booze. I was drinking too much to worry about my needs, covering up my pain and wants in an effort to be seen by her. I think she knew I struggled. I don't think she knew how to help me. She doesn't now. And so I'm watching my marriage dissolve and liking, likely ringing in our 10th anniversary with divorce. Failing her, our son, myself. Loser, coward, and the glasses come off. I internalize and guilt myself incessantly about the things that have and do go wrong in my life. My inner critic finds me at fault in all my failed relationships, no matter their degree of intimacy or importance. My parents, my family, my wife, what I thought were close friends. Everything is weighing on me. People avoid me in grocery stores or move away if I get too close. I see the disgust on their faces. Everything is ammunition. No one wants to touch me. Everything is my fault. The fucking glasses come off. Jennifer Valdez, everyone.